All right, we can fit quite a few in here. Let's grab a couple more. Yeah, I've never seen the bees move this way. So many of them in a, sh in a small area just streaming into me. Just kind of weird. Oh, that one's full. Alright, that's, that's going to be more than enough. Even with Quick Butcher. Leave the poor bees alone. I don't really need the royal jelly anymore anyway. Let's go visit some uh, some slime. Uh, let's go to the far side and then cut south. Give me some meat, but we'll leave Mr. Bear alone. Alright, there's the start of the slime area. Gotta be cautious I don't get into another spiral here and have them swarm all over me. I already maxed out my dodge that I'm likely to get off of blobs. wonder, did I get any dodge bonus? Yeah, we got a little bit of dodge. I don't know how much of that I got off the bees and how much off of the earlier fights. Okay, uh, how much space have I got left? Uh, let's, let's, let's haul a bee out. See if I can get this butchered without them coming to get me. Three minutes? Yeah, we should be okay. Ah, uh, what is that? <laughs> it's a teleporting or parachuting hazmat zombie. <laughs> hey, Mr. Hazmat Zombie. No idea where you wandered in from. Okay, now let's go all to there. Give me the uh, 800 sinew for thread. Do I want chitin? Let's grab the uh, chunks of meat first. I don't need refuse. Do I care about chitin? Let's grab one stack, call it good. Alright, all the rest of you crap. Get out of here. Um, let's do another cure light. Until it works. And it is not happening. There we go. Follow me, blobs. Death spiral me. Come on. You know you want to. Come on. Alright, fine. I'll do it the hard way. <laughs> so many interrupt messages. Problem there is I've got um, auto pickup set for the blob blobs, so it's trying to pick pick up the blob globs while I've got nearby blobs, so it keeps warning me. What are we up to? Only twenty eight so far. That's not nearly enough. Uh, is getting a little irritating.
right, stamina. Getting a little worried about you. Back off for a second. What are we up to? 77. Not nearly enough. Alright, I think I am going to turn this off temporarily. Uh, options. Turn that off. Oops. Right. Let's kill a bunch first, then we'll just run around and grab them. Otherwise, I'm going to have to hit the keys 14 million times to keep interrupting. Low stamina is not hurting me in that case. I don't remember going after a brain blob. I've never... I don't think I've been into the, uh, the, the slime pit recently. Can't remember the last time I purposely went in there. Um... I'm going overweight now. <laughs> all right, what the hell? Why do you keep telling me all these guys are spotted when I'm trying to pick this stuff up? That's really damn annoying. Oh, that's why. Didn't know there actually was one close. <laughs> Overburdened, yes. Oh, auto pickup won't grab it. Oh, overburdened and overstand or over uh, carry capacity. All right, what are we up to? 163. Um, hmm. Probably enough. It's enough for now. Hey, Mr. Bear, don't mind me. This will be interesting. Eat first. Close enough. All right, two trips, we'll have it all out. I gotta break down and do the metalworking stuff. Bugging me too much. Backpacks, apparently. Um, one 
more trip after this trip. Dang it. Big downside to having the base in this location. <laughs> Alright, we're back home. We've got a food source for a while. That should last us another week or two, probably. Maybe not quite that long. Oh my god, did I not pick them up? Oh, how did I not manage to pick those up? <laughs> oh, I did pick them up. Blah, blah, blah. Thought it was meat. Uh, there we go. Yeah, there's animal companions. You can even uh, tame horses and ride horses and have horses pull carts. Pickaxe on floor one. Yeah, I realize pickaxe on floor one. <laughs> I don't have metalworking. There was no pickaxe actually on floor one. <laughs> hey, Bellacasti. Thanks for the follow and the Twitch Prime sub. What do I think of the Electroshock Bionic? Is that the broken one where you can shock like a million things on the screen at once? Is that the one you're referring to? I haven't actually used it, so I, I don't have an opinion beyond what I've seen screenshots-wise of some really broken mechanics. <laughs> okay, what was that working on? Uh, we got the meat, so we're good on food. We got the slime, or the, the blob globs, so we can do plenty, plenty of mutagen. Now we've got blob globs for weeks. So, 40 out of 400 bleach, so I could do, basically, with the bleach I've got, I could do 10 times 20, I could do 200 things of mutagen, and I haven't even remotely gone up and cleared all the bleach out. I left bleach and ammonia all over the place. Uh, 20 ammonia, so I could do 10 of that as well. So I've got bleach and ammonia to do uh, 10 times 20, 200 mutagen. And then blob globs, unfortunately, I've only got enough for two of those. So instead of ten. So, like I said, <laughs> blob globs is the, uh, the thing we're lacking. That's why I was scooping up as many of them as I could. But do I really need to do 200 things of mutagen? Maybe. Maybe. i got to do at least half a dozen purifying serums. Just to have emergency serum available for when the uh, genetic chaos throws me another really nasty curve. We still haven't mutated further down the weakening to the disintegration line. Um, the only change I remember recently was our, our scales went to fur. So we flipped from uh, lizards to, uh, to, to rodents. Or some of the other creatures. Um, don't think anything else really has changed, it looks like. Remember, all the rest of these look familiar. Alright, I really, really, really need to get that pickaxe done. So we're going to have to finish the metalworking stuff. I think that's what I'm going to put my focus on. So, first up is the Crucible. Five hours and seven minutes. Do it. Let's get it done. Can't wait anymore. I should have pretty much everything sitting right here. I'll need to get a forge done too. Yeah, with Genetic Chaos, it could throw me some game ending curves I have to be careful of. So, when it's not glitching on me, 
throwing me into stamina spirals. Um, it's kind of hard to kill me, so... Certain mutation combos, or the disintegration one specifically, um, could kill me. I have no counter to it other than purifying, which would be a nightmare, given how many good things I would probably end up purifying just to get rid of disintegration. I'm really, really hoping I don't ever have to do that. Cause I'd have to get rid of so many awesome mutations. I mean, stat bonuses we've got up to extremely, extremely full night vision. Just, just tons of good stuff. I, I would really be unhappy if I do have to pull the trigger on a mass purify. That's going to suck. But we got to be prepared for it. Um, and given the number of mutations I have, I have to get a big pile of serum just to make sure I can sh get rid of whatever thing I think is going to end the run. Um, all right, so Crucible's done. Next up, Anvil. Hey there, Mr. Anvil. Four steel frames, no problem. Got them sitting right here. Another five hours, sure. <laughs> Hope for the targeted purifier finale room. May come to that. We got a di lab dive anyway to go find the Chimera book. So... All right, Anvil's done. So, Crucible, Anvil, Tongs, another 42 minutes. Um, use Scrap Metal for that one. So, Tongs are done. Next up, Swage and Die Set. Oh, nope, next up, Chisel. I forgot the Chisel. Hey there, Chisel Pizzle. Another hour. At least we're going to blow through this fairly quickly. Then, of course, the things I want to make are going to take forever. And now, Swage and Die Set. Another two hours, almost three hours. Uh, Chunks of Steel is fine. Surprised I haven't gotten tired yet. Uh-oh, lightly furred. Oh, back to scales. <laughs> That's the kind of... I've mentioned a couple of times so far that usually when I run these kinds of high mutation chains, I have things go back and forth. And it, it didn't do it for the longest time. We just kept adding, adding, adding to this list. More and more and more new mutations. But now we're starting to finally see some things going back and forth. So we just uh, lost sleek scales all the way down to lightly furred. And then it just reversed back in the scales direction again. Didn't go all the way back up to sleek where we had it before. But uh, still. All right. Swage and die is done. Now I need, uh, I need a forge. Do I need a forge? What do I need a forge for? I'm going to have to think about that. I may not need the forge. Uh, pickaxe. Pickaxe, we can do. Oh, that's what I need the forge for. <laughs> I couldn't remember... Oh, I've been burning the acetylene torch. That's what I've been using. All right, and I finally ran out, even after the gas canisters I brought back, apparently. Um... No, not that. Um, welding. Oops. Stop it. All inventory welding. No, I still got the welding tank sitting here. So, come here, acetylene. Just need to get you charged up. I'm going to avoid the forge if I can avoid it. Uh, let's just drop that. All right. Now, I'll go back to the pickaxe. There we go. Okay. Because we're staying with the dragon style. I don't plan on making, uh, like, uh, swords and stuff like that. Um. <laughs> That's true. I I've mentioned quite a few times, this guy's a superman compared to what I'm used to. My normal stat range is like 6 to 8. <laughs> 10 at the outside. At 11, I kind of freak out. <clears throat> so, that is by far the most stat points anybody's seen on uh, one of my characters in a long time. Alright. Um, wow, we're still not tired. can't believe we've got as much stuff done as we have. I haven't actually made the pickaxe, though. That one's probably going to put me into tired, dead tired. 10 hours! <laughs> Slow 64% because of the focus. I think it's the focus slowing that down. Let's try reading my sci-fi novel. Come on, focus. 
<laughs> I guess it's a quick read. We just get a smaller number for a quick read time. And let's go ahead and grab all of these. Not that one. Let's reload the morale enhancement device. Oh, let's let's give it a real battery. All right, activate the game system. Let's play Minesweeper. I'm an expert Minesweeper. There. All right, Light. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Ugh. That is one of the things that uh, I'm hoping to use uh, any donations between now and uh, next Monday for is uh, new lighting. <laughs> my my patchwork lighting is uh, it's functional. I've got it to a point where it looks okay, but uh, has a tendency to give me a headache because it's it's not proper lighting for camera work. Um, let's see here. What was I working on? Oh yeah, uh, we did Minesweeper. Let's do. Hey, we we use zero zero battery power for our Minesweeper game. We'll use the morale enhancement device. We'll use our guitar right after we wield it. All right, so we've got our sci-fi novel bonus, our video game bonus, our morale enhancement bonus, and our music is starting to climb. That'll take a little time. Good old nomadic. Gotta love that nomadic. Minus 20. Now let's go ahead and eat. Oh, that's right. I can't eat all my fun foods. Um, Really? I can have malted milk balls? All right, let's have some malted milk balls. Carnivores like malted milk balls. Who would have thunk? Carnivores like diazepam. <laughs> uh, sure, we'll have some curry with meat. That sounds good. Oops, and I accidentally ate cheese because it relocated the item. Instead of eating two of the one item, I ate one of each. Lovely. Back on some more bonuses. We're up to plus 48. Focus 103. All right, now let's check that time again. Pickaxe, is it still 11 hours? Uh, 7 hours. Just from the focus. 4 hours cut off. Just from the focus. There you go. If you're crafting really long things, make sure you're not trying to do it at like 5 focus. <laughs> It'll be a ridiculous amount of time. 7 hours though. I gotta do something with all this stacked morale I just created. So it's either read or craft something for skill. Nah, let's just do the seven hours. I want my pickaxe. Do, do I want my pickaxe or do I just want a jackhammer? Oh, the old medium storage battery problem. That's right. Well, I've already seen the stamina spiral on normal vorm. <laughs> I've been complaining about some of the stamina spirals and combat issues for a couple of weeks now. I've only been playing this guy since Monday. Um, I think I'll go with a pickaxe. We're running a high strength character now. Pickaxe will chop through things pretty quick. So let's just do the pickaxe. And it's it weighs less. So do eat. See how quickly we go tired. That'll give me an idea if we're going to hit dead tired before we finish. Oh, there's tired. And we might hit dead tired. I'm actually more curious how many, how many inhaler charges am I going to go through. <laughs> yeah, if you guys see me pass up whiskey, remind me to grab some and test it against the, uh, the pain effects. Please don't go dead tired. All right, we got the pickaxe. We're not dead tired. Awesome sauce. Give me pickaxe. Another big heavy thing to carry around. Our focus is still awesome. Man, I don't want to go to sleep right now. Ten hours went by. Only thing we've got is the music bonus offsetting the uh, the nomadic negative, which we've dealt with before. But, uh, man, I need to burn that focus. Um, Can't do it in combat right now. It's going to have to be read something, but we're going to go dead tired. I'm going to get annoyed. I'm going to sleep twice. 
Do it anyway. Let's do the electronics. I need to push that up anyway. So we can get the control laptop done. Alright, there we're... Oh, look at that focus and look at that very, very slow reading. Youch, why is that so slow? That doesn't make any sense. I started at a hundred and some focus and it was still going super, super slow. This book's only at 26 minute chapters. Seems weird. Hmm. Maybe it's the tired status. Alright, uh, can I still eat my bratwurst? Yes, I can. We will have some bratwurst and some more water. And apparently some Adderall. Did I actually eat the Adderall? I did not. Alright, I managed to stop in time. Still thirsty, huh? Alright. Have some, uh... Wow, we've actually almost emptied our tank of clean water. Or our tank of regular water. We're going to have to go get some more of that. Apparently, forging a pickaxe is thirsty work. That's like six bottle or six things of water so far. Now we're, we're sated. Or we're engorged. All right, better stop there. Let's go take another nap. See if we do any more fun mutating. Oops, whoops. I almost did it. I almost did it. Uh let's do Yeah, not really gonna help me all that much no matter what I do here. First level of synaptic stimulation. Nope, can't get that off. Too difficult, too difficult. Quantum tunnel. That did that theoretically that could put me on the uh the trap? No, I get to pick the direction. Sort of. I don't want to go into the turret room. Nah, let's not try that down here. <laughs> or I will try it. I'll just try it over here. Alright, come here, you. Quantum tunnel. Failed. How does it know what direction to go? I mean, I'm a little confused. Quantum tunnel. Is this just a... Um, this isn't the random. This isn't... <laughs> hmm. Yes, it is. Alright, uh, so quantum tunnel. Power of protection. Too difficult. Too difficult. I've already got the rest of these and or they're too difficult. Uh, alright. Guess we'll just do uh, pure light over and over. Come on, pure light. Oh, I'm going to be 100 short of casting it again. That's fine. That's enough. Uh, there already is uh, saved progress while you craft. When you go to craft something, it starts an object or an item, and it shows you the percentage that is completed. If you get interrupted, it just stops along the, the line, and you can pick it up again and continue it later. So gone are the days of trying to craft an 11-hour thing and getting interrupted and having to start over again. That's part of the whole... Workbench, crafting spot, and so on. Upgrade slash system. So that's why I have this workbench right here. It's an official workbench. It speeds up crafting by 20% and um, it automates the process of where the item goes and all that kind of stuff. So all that's already been taken care of. Bratwurst. Uh, all my kidneys and lungs are going bad. I got no more brat sitting around. Nope. All right, let's get a fire going. Food. Let's see. Still got more. What am I running? Oh, I'm running out of fat. Out of my last three chunks of fat for bratwurst. All right, no bratwurst now. Let's go for... Oh, that's right. I brought back that charcoal smoker. Nah. Let's just do cooked meat now. 
Um, so you can see right here, it's crafting the item there. If I could interrupted, the item would still be there and it would show a percent that it needed to uh, finish. And I can come back and tell it to work on the interrupted craft to finish it up. Ah, rotten meat. <laughs> Thanks, game. I could eat it. I can't eat rotten meat. Still get 358 calories out of it. Hmm. Um. None of the meat there shows as bad. So where did I just happen to make the exact amount of meat that was old? No. Nope. 40. Apparently I did. That's kind of weird. So we still have the Sapervore trait. Sapervore trait here. Your digestive system specialized to allow you to consume decaying material. You can eat rotten food for less nutrition. We're going to do it. Yum yum. Cooked meat rotten. Good stuff. Highly recommend it. Yeah, the problem is, um, I mean, you, 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 you look up that information, and it's good information to know. The problem is, I don't think they have adjusted the timer functions for the pain relief. I think the pain relief is happening six times slower than it should be because of the reduction from six seconds to one second. So, you're getting not anywhere remotely near the pain relief that you should be getting. That's what I think is happening. And I don't think anybody has brought it up other than me continuously complaining about pain over the last couple of weeks. So I think it's a timing problem. If I had to guess, I don't code dive. I don't know for sure. I'm, I'm guessing based on other things and the whole timing changes. But that's my guess. Because, I mean, I've, I've done it on camera where I've had, uh, what I don't remember all the names for the pain sequences, but I've been at like minus 16% on my speed because of the medium level pain or high level pain. I've taken tramadol continuously for hours and it still didn't budge it off of whatever status it was on. I, I lost like 2% of the 16 pain. <laughs> I mean, it's just ridiculously long time that the pain lasts or it ratchets up too fast. One or the other. Now, it's definitely the get rid of the pain. I don't mind the pain going up quickly. I mean, if you're getting smacked around and bitten and gnawed and clawed and so on, your pain should be going up fairly quickly. I'm okay with that part. It's the, you can't get rid of the damn stuff, no matter what you do, short of going and taking a full-on eight-hour sleep cycle. Because um, I've tried all of the drugs, including morphine, um, and just couldn't get rid of the pain. I mean, hours would go by. So, if I had to guess, I think somebody needs to fix the timer on the uh, pain cycling when you take drugs. Or any any kind of effect. And it could be that alcohol, because of its, ex its accelerated uh, issues, uh, is subbing. And you're getting a much faster pain cycling effect because of the alcohol. So, that's my guess anyway. Uh, all right, so we got our food. We were working on metalworking. We got the pickaxe done. What other things did I need? I'm gonna need eventually a lifting device. That's gonna be either the bottle jack into uh, the crane. So telescopic cantilever. Just need a couple pipes. I can put the cantilever together and then I can put a Engine crane on whatever vehicle I jump around in. That'll let me uh, yank out the... Uh, either do a portable one on a frame, like a folding frame, to go yank out um, storage batteries and um, the uh, armored wheels off of vehicles. Probably it would be best initially to do a folding frame engine crane setup until I get the vehicle picked. Or I just build my motorcycle and uh, survive on that. <laughs> I'm not going to build a military vehicle from scratch, though. I really, really just want my, my Humvee. So that's one thing we can do. 
That'll help when we go out in our vehicle looking for a better vehicle to do our final upgrades on. Got the pickaxe now. I can take down that door wall upstairs so I don't have to keep going up and down six, six flights of stairs every time we go to the vehicle. Um, yeah, we got all sorts of fun stuff we could make, but uh, I'm going to stick with the hand-to-hand -hand dragon style. Um, are there any high-end unarmed weapons? Usually punch dagger is the last thing I think of, but anybody know of one of these higher end, high fab level weapons that uh, works for unarmed? I can't think of one, so if anybody knows of one, let me know. Punch dagger is the highest level one I know of, or I, I remember doing in the past. But if there is one, I'd be interested in checking it out and seeing if we can get anything else out of it. Bash would be my preference, so that's why steel knuckles that we've already got is what I've Occasionally, I remember to actually put in my hands. Acestus is bash? I guess it is. A heavy metal guard that covers... Oh, that's right. That's the uh, fist guard. So does that work for unarmed? Oh, yes. Acestus works for unarmed fighting styles. 12 and 89 moves versus 8. Hmm... Well, that might be it right there. I know all these others are actual full-on weapons. None of these are going to be usable with unarmed and be a bonus. So, Cestus. Yeah, let's grab a Cestus. I'm curious. Uh-oh, Deform just did something. What'd you do, deformed? Badly deformed. <laughs> we moved back and one more down that track. Some people have strong negative reaction to your appearance. I am hideously deformed. Well, I'm a chimera. Of course I'm hideously deformed. Come here, Cestus. Let's see. Let's drop the steel knuckles there. And wield a Cestus. That lets me use it. You relax and patiently await conflict, like the great dragon. Excuse me? <laughs> Is that, like, particular to the Cestus? Did I actually get a, like, a, like the great dragon message applied to me when I'm playing a, a pretend dragon run? <laughs> Take off, or no, unwield Cestus. Yeah, it is. Every time I do the Cestus thing, it gives me the Great Dragon message. Well, that's pretty funny. Oh, it has been appearing before, and I just didn't notice. All right, that's that's. Well, why am I getting the Great Dragon message then? That's kind of weird. Oh, for any West, uh, all right, I'll take it. I'll I'll take it either way. So we've got a, a Cestus. Um, so 12 bash, that's, uh, I went from 8 to 12 on the bash base. A little bit more moves per attack, that's fine. Um, yeah, and it, uh, well made, will stand punishment, can be used with unarmed fighting styles, and it's good for dragon kung fu. So we're going to try the Cestus. I think that's the highest level one I can possibly do. Then I think you're stuck with the punch dagger for, uh, for piercing as the highest on that side. Not aware of another one that'll do unarmed combat at the high end. Yeah, none of this stuff. Alright, so we're done there. I'm not worried about that or those. I'm not dealing with that right now. We've got to finish leveling up electronics before we can do the couple things I need to do there. Chitinous armor. Oh, that's right. Can I do the chitinous? Doesn't chitinous have an arm guard? Can't remember. Yeah, chitin arm guards. Ninety percent. Nine twelve. Problem is that uh, you can't repair them. I think 
me one of those. I want to compare it directly. Compare... What am I using? Leather arm guards. Oops, those are damaged leather arm guards. Come here, tailor's kit. Fix that. Alright, so we got the leather arm guards full strength. Now compare arm guards versus the very bottom of this long, long list unless I move down. <laughs> Do it this way instead. Arm guards. There we go. Alright, so the chitin, much better encumbrance, six points less encumbrance for more protection, more environmental protection. Less warmth, but I'm not concerned about that, and the same coverage. Alright. Hmm. I've got enough chitin, and it's easy to go get more. I think I'll go ahead and go with the chitin. So let's leave the leather arm guards. I want the lightest encumbrance I can get on my arms, but I need the arm block, so I'll go with the uh, chitin arm guards. And that puts our arms at 22. Ouch. I'm big now. Still just that tiny amount of conflict there. We'll leave it until we start seriously into the uh, magic stuff, then I'll reevaluate. Alright, what was I looking at? So, anything else on this list? Oh, that's right, Survivor Backpack. I forgot about the Survivor Backpack or the Survivor Duffel Bag. Um, need another Duffel Bag and a whole bunch of leather. Not a problem to get into that. I need it though. No more storage. Hmm. Either way, I'm going to need some more leather, which is uh, take seats part. Not a big deal. I think I've got all the other stuff I don't really care about. Not going ice diving. Um, I'm thinking of throwing something else on my torso. Torso encumbrance is going to affect my melee combat a bit, but I'm fairly low and I'm ratcheting up my melee combat to a degree where I can offset the negatives. But if I did it, it would probably be... XL Kevlar Vest. Chainmail Vest. That's what I need. Chainmail Vest. Light Survivor Body Armor. 8 Encumbrance for 610 additional at 100 per oh, only 95%. Raincoat to put it together, huh? Hey there, Tea Pocket. Welcome. Uh, the number five key. Five key is the interrupt key on your keypad. Hit number five, and uh, that'll interrupt most long-term actions. Sleeping's, I think, the only one that it won't interrupt.
Eight encumbrance and normal layer. I think it's going to stack up too much. Or so right now. Yeah, so I'd end up with not just the 8, I'd also get a pretty heavy duplicate body location encumbrance negative, so I don't think I can do that one. MBR Vest. I can do it with the Kevlar without a problem. Um, that's the outer, so I wouldn't get the conflict. The only problem is it's only the 85%. I think I'm going to ignore all that for now. We, we seem to be doing okay in normal fights when we're not getting spiraled. So I think I'm done with that process. Um, so we got the metalworking done. Let's work on the next thing. Let's do um, makeshift welder. I'm going to need more than one, which means I'm going to need heating elements. Need two to get two of these built. I need two makeshift welders to do the kit, after which I can then do the vehicle welding rig. Oh, we need another steel frame. All right, that's not a problem. Okay, in order, we need to do cantilever and pipes. Let's go, um, there's that one other room that had the machinery. Let's go get some pipes and the frame over there real quick. Then we will uh, have what we need to do a few things. Which, I think it was north of here. Yep, right there. All right, headlamp. Uh-oh, should have brought batteries. There's the frame I need. I get pipes. I got a few pipes. And our RNG Froyo. <laughs> Migrated over from YouTube, did you? Found the live stuff. <laughs> You're in the future now, man. You're in the future if you migrated over from YouTube. YouTube is in the distant past for uh, content. <laughs> you've uh, you've done a bit of a time jump. All right, so we got the frame and we got a few pipes. Pipes are easier to get from other things. Um, yeah, I don't want to take apart more, more machinery at that high cost. Um, let's see if we have enough with the basics we've got. Actually, can you take apart this railing? I don't think I've ever tried. Apparently not. Can you smash it? Activate. Well, that, that's not sexy. That's not what I was looking for. more than one inch. Should be good enough. Go get some fun stuff built. Oops. Um, 
So, telescopic cantilever. Let's get that done. Um, scrap metal. And I want foldable light frame. I think I'm going to need one more of those, unfortunately. And, um, casters. Alright, uh, start vehicle construction right there with my foldable light frame. Crane. Zemin vehicle install. Mm, I need. Alright, sure, put that on there. Oh yeah, caster. <laughs> I think I need to put the uh Alright, where'd you go? Why am I not see? Alright, we got the frame, we got the telescopic crane, we got the casters, we can fold it up, we can drag it along on the casters for easy use, put it away, carry it with us, good times. So, that solves my lift and jacking. I am now a jack lifter. Um, so that's going to enable me to grab anything I need off of vehicles. Um, heavy armored tires, storage batteries, all that kind of stuff. We've got that accomplished. Now, if I do, I think I just used up all the pipes that I brought back. We do the, uh... Yeah. <laughs> oh, I need the heating elements. need uh, two heating elements. All right, let's do that. Heating elements. Do two of those, then do the welding, two makeshift welders, finally the welding vehicle kits. All right, finish that up. Excuse me. Apparently I didn't get it done. And there we go. Here's our vehicle welding rig. <laughs> Looks a little funny. Leave that over here next to the uh, workbench we accidentally created earlier. And let's also leave the folding crane here. Does the character have a dog tail? I've got a fuzzy tail. Which animal you want to say it belongs to is up to you. There's a number of animal lines that have the uh, furry tail. Right, uh, where are you at, furry tail? Or did it did it switch? No, we have the club tail. We're back to the club tail. So it's not a dog tail. <laughs> the big powerful club tail. We got furry something or other. Did it switch off of the furry again? I guess it switched off of the furry. We had, oh yeah, that's right. We switched it back to scales. So, crazy number of traits we've got going on with more being piled in. All right. But yeah, that's the club tail. That's not the uh, the dog tail. Either to payock. Thanks for the follow. Welcome. Oh, looks like we got raided again. Howdy, everybody. Welcome to the channel. I am Vormithrax. I kill things in the Cataclysm. And occasionally they kill me back. Right now I am eating rotten cooked meat. For science. I gotta do some more water. Do, do, do. Clean water. Oh, that's right. I gotta get more clean, more water. Into the cane. Into the jug and consume, consume, consume. 
into the bottle we go. Alright, come here, metal tank. Let's go re-up our water supply. I think we'll probably be gone before we finish this tank off. Alright, so water's back. We're tired again. We did a lot of metal work. We got a lot of stuff done. We got the engine crane done. We got the vehicle welding rig done. We're just about perfectly set up to actually go get a vehicle that I can mod up. Um... I do want to get the electronic skill finished up. That's going to hold me back on a couple of things I want to get done as well. So it's electronic skill. Get the control laptop put together. Get some EMP grenades put together. Head out on the road. Find a vehicle I can bring back. And then um, mod up real quick. And load it up and get the hell out of this lab. I'm tired of coming down here. I need to get moving again. Um, so towards that end... Or anything else? I also have a lot of magic skill up to do. Let's, um, while we've got the fresh meat supply, let's finish off a few of the things. Let's go ahead and sleep now. Right after I blow this mana again. Uh, cure lights. Me. <laughs> fail, 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 fail. Can I succeed anymore? 57%? Really? Really? 57%? This is what 57% fail means to Vormithrax. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're up to 6 in a row fails at 57% success rate. So 43% fail rate, and we're, we're 6 in a row failed so far. 7 failed... And there we go. It took eight tries on a 47% fail chance. <laughs> oh, fit, no, it was 57. I was doing the math the wrong direction. So, But still, eight tries at 57%. One more. Come on. There we go. All right. Uh, oh, yeah, we were going to sleep. Let's see what kind of mutations we get while we sleep. Always a fun time. Yeah, for anybody who stumbled upon uh, my stuff from YouTube, the Twitch chat stuff is in the magical far-flung future compared to YouTube. Um, my, I, I stream more live on Twitch than I'm comfortable releasing on YouTube each day. So I limit my YouTube challenge series to two hours per day. So that creates a backlog over time. And I've been doing this for a while now. I've got a backlog of about three months built up now. So anything you're watching that just today released on YouTube was recorded three months ago uh, when I did it live on Twitch. Uh, did we actually mutate? I don't think we did. Nope, we didn't mutate a single time. Well, that's not as exciting. Uh, let's have some more rotten meat. Cooked meat, rotten. Good stuff. We are overweight. Hey, they're overweight. Um, everything else is good. Let's... Oh, yeah, I wanted to finish the, uh, the electronics. Even if it means... Whoops. Nope. Stop. 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 Activate. Reeled. <laughs> Get the guitar, get, get the get, get the guitar going so I can offset that nomad negative. Play another round of exciting Minesweeper. Oh no, I failed at Minesweeper. I am the bad. And we'll take another hit of our morale enhancement device. Let's see. I think that's all I need to do. Good feeling, played video game, and uh, activate the guitar. Start building up that music bonus. Focus sucks. All right, let's read the sci-fi novel. Get some focus off of that as well. 